military weapons. Welcome back and thanks for watching. Today we talk about the Bell V280 Valor. The V280 Valor is a third generation tilt rotor vertical lift helicopter being developed by the United States based aircraft manufacturer Bell Helicopter Textron. Some quick facts about the Bell. The aircraft was officially unveiled at the 2013 Army Aviation Association of America's annual professional forum and exposition in Fort Worth, Texas. The V-280 made its first flight December 18th of 2017 in Amarillo, Texas, and the Valor will offer greater control both at low and high speeds efficiently and is currently in the design concept phase. Of its design, the V-280 is reported to be designed for a cruising speed of 520 km per hour with a top speed of 560 km per hour and a range of 3,900 km with an effective combat range of 930 to 1480 km. The expected maximum takeoff weight is just about 14,000 kg. In one major difference from the earlier version of the V-22 Osprey tilt rotor the engines remain in place while the rotors and drive shafts tilt. A drive shaft runs through the straight wing, allowing both prop rotors to be driven by a single engine in the event of engine loss. The V-280 will have a retractable landing gear, a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system, and a V-tail configuration. The wings are made of a single section of carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite, reducing weight and production costs. The V-280 will have a crew of four, being capable of transporting up to 14 troops with dual cargo hooks, giving it a lift capacity to carry a 4,500 kilogram M77A2 howitzer while flying at a speed of 280 kilometers per hour. The fuselage is visually similar to that of the UH-60 Blackhawk medium lift helicopter, and when landed, the wing is in excess of 2.1 meters from the ground, allowing soldiers to egress easily out of two 1.8 meter wide side doors, and door gunners have wide fields of fire. Although the initial design is a utility configuration, Bell is also working on an attack configuration. GE Aviation will manufacture the engines for the V-280 with the prototype using the General Electric T-64. The specific engine for the model performance specification is unknown as of this time, but has funding from the Army's Future Affordable Turbine Engine Program. The V-tail structure and the rudder vaders will provide high levels of maneuverability and control to the airframe. It will be made of a combination of metals and composites, featuring the interior, which includes seats that wirelessly charge troops' radios, their night vision goggles, and other electronic gear, with windows that display three-dimensional mission maps. Special emphasis has been placed on reducing the weight of the V-280 in comparison to the V-22, which in turn would reduce the cost. To do this, composites are used extensively in the wings, fuselage, and tail. Wing skins and ribs are made of a honeycomb-stiffened sandwich construction with large cell carbon cores for fewer, larger, and lighter parts. Skins and ribs are paste bonded together to eliminate fasteners. Of its specifications, the V-280 features a crew of four with a capacity of 14 troops and a power plant that features two General Electric T-64 turbo shafts. Of performance, its cruising speed is 519 km per hour with a combat range of 926 to 1,482 km. Its ferry range sits at around 3,889 km and it has a service ceiling of 1,800 meters in hover out of ground effect at 35 degrees Celsius. Thanks for watching. Be sure you're subscribed and that you leave a like and a comment on this video. Let us know how you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.